All right, hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of The Reese Show. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. And anybody that's new out there, just never watched me before, welcome. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Today I'll be organizing my nail art. I'm not gonna go all off into details of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna explain a lot of that in the video. There will be two parts of this video. In the first part of the video, you're gonna see how I organize my nail art. In the second part of the video, you will see where I store my nail art. And hopefully at the end of the video, part two, you will see an overall uh look at my nail room okay little update that's about all okay i hope you guys are staying safe out there we are dealing with a very 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 hectic time but just always know and remember you put god first everything will be okay trust and believe have that faith stay prayed up continue to stay prayed up and that's all the advice i can give you just stay prayed up because that's all we need that's all we have all right all right y'all so let's go ahead and get started with this video Psh. or maybe this way Psh. Or maybe that way. Well, whatever. Come on. Let's go. All right, y'all. This is where we're going to start at. We're going to start right over here. And when I tell you everything is a mess, sis, everything is a mess. And, I, you know, I'm so disappointed in myself because normally I don't be this junky like this. It's just, uh, the last time I did the haul video, girl, I didn't do nothing but just throw this stuff clean in the drawers. It's like I just threw stuff on top of stuff because I, I was just trying to, you know what I'm saying, just get it out of my way because it's all in my way. I just didn't have nowhere to really store it and stuff, girl. So, girl, anyway, so today I'm going to get all this stuff together. We're going to get started. Now, I removed these here jars from the drawer down here. I showed y'all before how I these little mixes all in here from the last time I call myself trying to organize these here things and put all my stuff in these little shelves but I wasn't gonna mess with them at first at first I was just like I'm just gonna leave them because they all got different sizes girl but it kept bothering me I mean it was bothering me to the point I was just I can't take it no more so I went and got me some little containers from the Dollar Tree okay and uh let me show y'all those real fast because that's what I'm gonna be storing all this stuff in I'm gonna show y'all how I did my foils but hold on let me get you over here hold on all right, y'all, this is where we're going to be at. I got all this stuff on this desk. I showed y'all where I got this desk from. I bought this desk off Amazon, girl, 80 bucks free shipping. I'll leave the link. Don't worry about it, sis. I got you. 80 bucks free shipping. This is a beautiful desk, especially for beginners, girl. You can't beat that. And then you got no tools needed because all you have to do is just screw these little poles in. These little poles right here, just screw them right on in, sis. Just screw them right on in. You're just a, a. Tell him five y'all can put this desk together. Up and pop them in no time. About 10 minutes tops. Anywho, I'm going to start off by showing y'all what I did with these here little stickers here, okay? Now, I purchased this little tower thing off AliExpress. I'll leave whatever I can down in that description bar below. All right, and this is the little fan thing to hold the swatch sticks on it, and it goes by numbers. Okay, I only did uh, 21 of them so far. I purchased these little thingies here from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I think I had probably like six of these in total. Okay, and I purchased those. And I also purchased these. I think I got, how many of these I got? I got some of these in my desk. I'm going to show them to you in a minute, okay? And show you how I stored stuff inside of my desk over here behind me. Okay, but look at here. Now, these here, let me move something over to the side. These how I store them in the drawer. I put the numbers on them like that, okay? So if I need a number five, of course, they're not in order just yet. Girl, why is everybody keep calling me? I'm going to hurt somebody. Hold on, y'all. All right, sis. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But look, back to this here. Like I say, they're not in order. I'm going to put them in order. You're going to see me do that over here behind me in a minute. All right? So that's how I do that. So when they're in my drawer, if I need a number, say like if I come over here and I'll be like, oh, I want to rock number one. My number one ain't in here. You got to be behind me somewhere. Okay. I see number four. Okay. If I be like, girl, mm, I need number four on my nails. I need number four on my nails. I go in my drawer and I find number four. Boom, bam, pay y'all. There you go. All right. And I purchased these here from the Dollar Tree as well. I got a few, maybe a couple of those. Yeah, I think I got a, yeah, a couple of those. Okay. And never mind this here. This is just some extra stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree that I need, that I need to reline my desk. Because you can put this on your desk to keep it, you know, protected from stains and stuff. But eventually... You're going to have to change it because it still gets stains on top of this plastic and that looks nasty. So you just, if you just want to change it, you want to stay nasty, stay nasty. But personally, I just want to change mine. Okay, so never mind that. I'm going to change mine later. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so I purchased these two right here. They come two in a pack from the Dollar Tree. Let me move this thing out the way. It's getting on my nerves. So, and then, uh, yeah, I got two packs of those. And I got in here, I stored these here little... Model ones removable pads, these to take the gels off of the things or whatever. 
however you know how they do so yeah that's what that does all right so i just stored those in there for now but i'm gonna put them in my drawer in a minute behind me okay so now i went to ikea and i purchased probably well how many of these i purchased eight of these i believe it was and girl how you like as soon as i get out there i find a deal on they was on sale for 3.99 i was like watch out then now because originally i think they like 5.99 or something like that but girl i found these suckers for 3.99 okay i was like okay now let me show you what else I have over here. Now, this thing here, this stores a bunch of my little nail, little, uh, what do you call these things here? Girl, what is these? You know what they are, little nail things. What's these called? Shoot, I can't even think. Um, Girl, you know what these are, little, little nail things, okay? I just put them all in there together because, hey, it is what it is. When I feel like I want to get one, I go in there and get one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if they can fit in here okay now the reason why is because this is blue and i get tired of trying to open it up to see what i got and i just want something a little bit more transparent and i can just put them in here but bam and then see what i got you know what i mean uh, follow me now okay all right i hope they all can fit in there because that's kind of big but anyway moving on along i got these little things here too i'm gonna try like i said i'm gonna try and leave the links to where i got everything from these are nail tip storage thingies and i'll show y'all in a minute how i storage my nail tips now i purchased these things too uh these i showed into in my nail hall i showed y'all where i purchased these from again i say i try and leave my links down in the description blah, blah blah okay now i store my stones in this thing in these thingies here okay now keep in mind all right now i'm gonna share something with y'all these things is not the best quality okay i may wind up changing it out or whatever have you but you can still use them but i wouldn't recommend you putting a lot of stones in here sis because it'd be a little harder to close if you put a lot of stones in here and make it a little bit heavier and a little harder to close but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of piece of tape and i'm gonna tape it right on over just to hold them and secure them just a little bit more okay now i purchased these things from walmart some years back now oh hold on let me see now this is still okay these are much larger and they take up a lot of space so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take them from here and put them into these little things here okay um here are the swatch sticks for the remaining things to go on to that all right so now here are all my little jars my little container jars and then i also have more of them right here hold on because i don't want to drop none if i drop some we're gonna have a problem and ain't none of y'all gonna come over and help me clean this stuff up nope i already know anyway look at here so i got these here it's 40 of them that come in the pack i purchased these off of amazon i'll leave the link down in the description by below anywho i have more of them back here but these are much smaller so let me go ahead and get started and i also have these here little swatch stick thingies here and i'm gonna show y'all what i use these for as well now this here little thingy here this is a diy i showed y'all this is just a bunch of mess i gotta uh do something with this up here in one day or another but it won't be today anywho after i'm done with this whole thing i guess i give y'all overall look of my room but uh yeah oh and those are my uh visa things i gotta take these and drop these off to my girls all right so they can put them at their workstation and this here is my don't worry about that but that's some uh, tiger bomb some of y'all know what tiger bomb is some of you don't you don't if you don't know what it's for you better google it girlfriend but y'all yeah. anywho so yeah these are my little jars here and uh yeah let me get back over here so i can get started but i'm gonna show y'all what's inside my little desk drawer i ain't gonna show you what's on top of my desk just yet because it's a hot mess all right and over here to my desk this is my drawer i have more compartments from the dollar tree let's storage units this one has three compartments here. This one as well has three compartments. I store my paper clips in here. I'll show you guys what I use these here for in a minute. I also store my toothpicks in this here little tic-tac thing. I guess one day when I get tired of looking at this sticker, I just go ahead and peel that off. But until then, this is how I store my toothpicks. And I also store my little blue cotton swab thingies here and here as well as these black ones now i use these y'all already seen how i apply my stones i use those to apply my stones so i keep my glue right here on hand as well okay the little rhinestone glue now over here in this here compartment i keep my little spoons these are my little mixing spoons whenever i need to mix up some real fast sis hey there you go oh i also have my little ikea pencil in here i didn't know that was in there y'all already know what we use those for in the ikea store 
no need to explain that all right so over here in this compartment like i say this is three compartments as well i have these little extra tips here for my practice hand i got these little makeup swabs and quick tips this quick tip quick tip you can reuse these you can wash these suckers with warm water and soap girl and hang them out to dry just like you use your makeup brushes you can reuse these you can wash these suckers clean them up and then boom bam pay out there you go yeah anyway so i have these here and i, I can't express it enough sis if you own a e-file or a nail drill you will need these in your life okay if you want your nail drill to last is all i'm saying you want to protect you from dust getting all up in their hand piece girl you're gonna need these in your life you don't cost number a couple pennies all right I ain't gonna say a couple pennies, but you know, a couple of dollars. That's all. You know, for a certain amount. But anyway, I did a video on these, so you can go check that out. Well, if I don't forget, I'll leave it in the cards. So you'll see it pop up on the screen, okay? I also keep some fine grit little bits in here with the little tool thingy for your drill. Just grab one up out of there and then boom, bam, pie, y'all. I keep my little brush holder right here on the side. So whenever I get ready to do my nails, I snatch this up out of here, lay my brushes up there, and then, you know, whatever. All right, and back here I have two of these little storage units. This one here just holds my replacement filters to my mask and as well as those little nail stickers that uh, go into the practice hands. All right, and this one I have some nail clippers as well as this little magnetic tool for the cat eye. And also this deep smile line tool. I don't know why I don't utilize my tool when it comes to deep smile line, but I be making a mess. <laughs> I need to start using my stuff. All right, so in this one, I have my brush when I need to just knock off some dust. It's in this little pouch here. Just snatch it up out of there, get the dust off the nails, and that's that. But it's very convenient to have my stuff right here on hand, so that way I ain't got to be looking all around, turning all around, jumping up and down. You know how that is, sis. But yeah, so this is the inside of my desk, but let me move on to the other side here. Cause over here I have two more. I have some little rings right here just to, just to be sitting there. Let me find something else to do with those. These are some little extra rings I have on my hand. Y'all know how we do. Put these on your little fingers to pose. And you're ready to take your little pics. But anyway, I have those stored right there. And this one I have about a hundred of these here swatch sticks. I just prepare my swatch sticks, girl. Cause like, if I want to do me a quick swatch real fast, boom, bam, pie, y'all. There we go. There we have it. Have them right there in this little thing on hand, okay? I got about a hundred of them in there, okay? Just trying to stay prepared is all. You know how it is. Y'all know how it is. When we need a color, we need to know how color look real fast. Hey, you ain't got time to be looking all around. Here you go. Swatch. Oh, you don't like it? Toss it and move on to the next one. But yeah, I got about a hundred of them in there. See? All right, and I have these here little uh, swab thingies here. I showed y'all where I purchased these from. These here get the tacky layer off because I'm tired of using them old so-called lint-free wipes. Some of them do be lint-free, some of them don't. But these are very convenient and they are washable and reusable. Yes, they are, sis. But I showed y'all where I got them from. Try and leave it down in the description bar below. Let you know again where I got them from, okay? Okay, and back here I have these little makeup swab things. Y'all know what these are for. Y'all, you, you already know to do that old ombre look on the nails. Yeah, that we learned about four or five years ago here on the YT. But anywho, so yeah, so that's the inside of my drawer unit here, okay? Now let me show y'all how I store my foils real fast, alright? Alright. Alright, and here's how I store my foils. Now... I already explained to y'all in my gigantic nail haul that a beautiful young lady here on the YT shared with us how to store our foils. Very convenient way. I'm going to say it again. Bless our heart. Bless our heart. Anyway, so I did a video introducing her. So I will leave the link to that video up here. So if y'all can watch that video, if you never watched that gigantic nail haul video, you might want to go check that out so you can go meet this beautiful young lady who taught us this very convenient way of storing our foils. Now there's two ways that I store my foils and I'm going to share that with y'all right now. One way is I store them in this little thingy here. I purchased this last year off of AliExpress. Unfortunately, they does not have this anymore on their site, but I believe they have something similar to this. And I will try to leave the link to that down in that description bar below, okay? Now, how I store them in this here thingy here 
and so uh, uh, y'all see that some of the foils come in these little containers here and then you have some foils that come in containers here all right now the ones that come in this container is a little bit smaller compared to these these are a little wider all right so now how i store these and as you can see i have some paper clips in there because uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i did these foils you can get two foils on one of these here okay but these foils here are much wider so i use one of these okay and i wrap them around like that all right you can store the wide ones in here as well and i might wind up doing that maybe if I have enough room because I have a hundred foils and that's not to brag it just is what it is I'm a foil hoarder okay it's nothing to brag about you know actually I'm a little ashamed of it but anyway <laughs> this is how I store these foils here the much wider ones okay I wrap them around here and like I say they only can go on one time Now you can also store these in your photo album as well. The only recommendation I would have, if you do store these in your photo album, do not remove this clear wrap because if you do, somehow this plastic can snatch off your decal. I wouldn't take that chance since I just put it in here and keep this plastic protecting over it like that, okay? And you can slide it on in there like that there, okay? You can do that as well. But personally, I think I'm going to find another way to store these because I have entirely too many of these and not enough slots. Now these cases can be utilized. You can use these to store your nail tips as well as maybe some rhinestones that you have packaged in some bags that you need to store. That would be a good idea for that. So these are more of my Christmas foil so I'm going to continue to add them to these here. Okay.
Okay, so you see how I have the cards laid up across? They go straight across and I'll just continue to bring them straight out like that. Well, the reason I have this column in red is because these are all my Christmas foils, okay? So when I get ready to write it down in my book, I would do it just like this here. I would say holiday foils. Okay, then we have, we'll do Christmas. And Christmas will be in red, okay? Now if I have Halloween, I can do Halloween maybe in green, okay? And Easter. white okay so on so forth that's how i would do that okay i don't have my book so i can't show you guys i'm just trying to give you a rough idea how i would do that all right all right and flowers and easter you do whatever color you want but that's the reason why i have the colorful paper clips here okay all right so i'm not going to do all these on camera because it's going to take up entirely too much of your time okay so what i'm going to do is those are the Christmas foils there. I'm going to finish those up off camera. All right. So now I'm going to get started with putting these glitter mixes in these jars. All right. My larger mixes will be going into the larger containers. This is a 10 gram here. Okay. So on, so forth. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. All right. So let's get started because these jars, oh, drive me crazy, girl. <laughs> Here I have my 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 21. I have 1, 2, and 3 in different size jars. That has to stay in different size jars because they was originally sent to me in different size jars. And that's how I stored them. And I don't want to change them, okay? So 1, 2, and 3 is in different size jars. All right, these stickers here I purchased from a local dollar, dollar store. It was not Dollar Tree. It was just another general dollar store, okay? Okay, as I mentioned before, you can utilize these little cases here once you remove the foils. Now, what I plan to use these for is my longer nail tips. I've already did these longer nail tips, and I use my little numbers to number them from 1 to 10. Okay, those are the natural. Here are the clear. Okay, 